all right guys let's start with the ccs cases now so before i dive into a particular case i would like to start with making a strong foundation before you before you dive into a specific case so first thing first you have to understand what are the different things that you would like to do in any case okay so first thing keep in mind is you want to do the vital management and the chief complaint management so for example if, if patient is there and she is having a obstruction or she is having a hypotension you don't want to move to the specific management before you do this vital management or a chief complaint management now for example if a patient is having a fever and abdominal pain make sure you have done treatment for that sometime what happens you will do a ccs case and you will do all sort of thing but you will forget putting antipyretics to the patient who is having a fever now one hack that i would like to teach you is whenever you start doing a ccs case just jot down the chief complaint in a piece of paper that you will have in your examination too so just just note down the three things one is age gender and chief complaint and the and the vitals so as you will have this information it will be very easy to work through and it will barely take 30 seconds to 40 seconds to do that so once you are done with that make sure you have done the vital management you have done the chief complaint management and after that you want to do vocut x in all the cases exclusively so this is something you want to do in all the cases so make sure you do vocut x now what is vocut x I will tell in the subsequent video but for now I would just like to make the framework for doing any CCS cases so I would like to repeat first do the vital management do the chief complaint management when I say chief complaint management it's like fever you do antipyretics if she's having pain do the pain management if she's having a vomiting make sure you put anti-emetics so do that and then jump to the vocutex and after that you have to do a specific investigation for specific condition now what investigation you have to do for different condition i will make separate video for that don't worry about that but for now just make the framework so do the specific investigation then we will move on to the specific management when i say specific management i'm not talking about the vital management we have done it at the first step of doing the ccs case we did it remember we did the vital management we did the chief complaint management now when it comes to the specific management we are focusing on the specific management for the diagnosis that you made okay for example if it was a cholecystitis and you have to do laparoscopic cholecystectomy that would be a specific management in this case now one very important thing that i want to uh, tell you guys is that if you are planning to do a surgery or if the, the potential next step is surgery you are anticipating that make sure you send all the pre-op investigations so that is something that I would like to put in a specific investigation again. So make sure you put all the pre-op investigation before you put surgery. Okay. And next step after this specific management, you make sure you did all the consultation related with that disease. For example, if we have a case of ectopic pregnancy, you you'd like to make sure that you have done the consultation to OBGYN, right and next thing if let's say let's for instance if the patient is having osteomyelitis or let's say septic arthritis or is a kid you want to do consultation to orthopedic or pediatrician depending on different cases okay now final thing make sure you do the advice part I would call it advice part that's at the end of you have done everything now comes the turn of the final wrap-up moment so at that point you would like to do reassurance sometimes it's very crucial you want to reassure your patient because the patient is basically anxious and is worried and once you reassure the patient that's 
much most part of the treatment is in, inside the reassurance okay so that will make patient feel better and will help you in the in the management the next thing after inside the advice under advice is stop alcohol smoking and marijuana i would tell you do this to everyone not the marijuana part but stop alcohol and smoking why because if she is a smoker or alcoholic uh, you have to do it but if even if she is not and if you just put a stop stop us alcoholism or stop smoking that will not harm you so it will it will put you in a safer side next thing you would like to do is vaccination appropriate vaccination and screening and finally make sure you have done counseling for the compliance and side effects now for example if we have a case of infection or sepsis and we are putting the patient on antibiotics and if we will not counsel the patient about the compliance there is a chance that she or he will develop the antibiotics resistance so this becomes very important especially in case of Uh, antibiotics and even for antihypertensive for any medication you have to do the uh, it's very crucial you you counsel the patient about the compliance and the final thing that i would like to talk is about the side effects make sure you counsel the patient about the side effects because it's very important sometime i had I, i did a case with um gout and the patient was on antihypertensive like thiazide diuretics and if just by talking about the side effect you put the patient in safer side so that he can not he will not use the thiazide diuretics which can precipitate gout okay so you make sure you did the side effect counseling so make sure whenever you are talking about the advice you did a reassurance you did a stop alcohol and smoking and you did the appropriate vaccination you did the appropriate screening and about the drug you did two things that is compliance and side effects now as you will be doing the cases you will you will have this habit you will develop this habit of doing reassurance stop alcohol and smoking and if there is any illicit drug abuse you 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 want to make sure you included that too for example stop marijuana or stop uh, substance abuse and then do the appropriate vaccine screening and compliance and side effect as i said and after you follow this framework trust me guys most of the time you will be scoring higher marks because this pattern will help you make sure you have done the vital management and chief complaint management you are putting yourself in a safer side because by doing that you will not miss it you will definitely do the specific management you will do the consultation but you will be forgetting the antipyretics so there are small things that you would like to take care of so hi i hope this video was helpful uh, make sure you um, stay tuned because i am going to put more videos on other cases specific cases thank you